Swing out! Walker's clear! Walker clear! Three, 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 Bravo, Walker's been clear. Good, push him back. Hit the bunker! On it! Shit fire! Why? Shit fire! Why? Alright, team leaders, let's start doing a lace report. So, can you tell me uh, your full name first and what your job title is? Uh, Sergeant Lewis. Uh, I'm team leader for Able Company, 3509. And what's your first name, Christopher? Christopher. All right, and what are you guys out here doing today? We're out here conducting squad live fires. For my team, it was going very well. Uh, we're actually able to use all the skill level one tasks and the training that we do back at Garrison. And now we're able to uh, collaborate together, bring it together, uh, and integrate it into the squad. All right, and what are the skill level one tasks that you have to do with Skill one task that we've been training on, uh, everything from individual movement techniques to uh, proper reloads, engaging the target clearly and accurately, and then just combining that all as a team to make the more team as a whole more lethal. We have definitely improved synchronizing our assets as a team, uh, being able to pick up the rates of fire. For example, when my 320 gunner is transitioning back to his M4, picking up the rate of fire so there's no lulls. Um, definitely being able to bound ex in succession, you know, without losing, without moving, without fire, not firing, without maneuver, things of that nature. And why do you think it's important to do all this stuff for your team? Well, I mean, we just have to look around the world. We see the things that are going on in, <laughs> on the other side of the world, a little north of that, and at any time we could be sent to do that. So if we can't do the job properly here, then we're not going to be as lethal as we need to be over there. Is there anything you want to add? Uh, proud of my team, proud of my company, proud of my battalion, proud of things that my guys have done out here and how much they've progressed, how much they've improved, and I'm excited to see what they can do in the next training operation. What's your full name and job title? I'm sorry, First Class Jeremy Purdue. My job title is First Sergeant of Able Company 3509. All right, and what were you guys doing out here today? So today we are doing our blank iteration for squad live fire. Um, and we are doing that to work in the progression and to instill confidence in our lower level soldiers, our team leaders, and our squad leaders so that they can effectively communicate with their PLs and paint a picture for them so that they can in return paint a picture for the company commander um, when we're fighting as a platoon company. And what does this prepare you for? This is going to prepare us for future training at the platoon and company level and battalion level as well as um, any type of real life scenarios throughout the uh, Pacific area that we may have to encounter. So will this prepare you guys for JPMRC? Correct, so this is going to prepare us for JPMRC and build confidence in, um, in our squads to further on work up to platoon next month. And why is it important to do live fires? So it's important to do live fires so that you can get the real life training so that um, you're getting the real fill of the live rounds going down range and that you are shooting, maneuvering, and communicating properly so that we don't have any real life injuries and instill the confidence in the lower level soldiers as well as the team leaders and squad leaders all the way up. Are you taking actions to mitigate the risk from live rounds? So to mitigate the risk from the live rounds during training, we do maintain a 40 degrees offset end. That is the reason we're doing our, we did our leader um, walkthrough and we are now doing blank iteration day and night to prepare them and to certify them in the lane so that they can do a live rounds. From experience, shooting live rounds is completely different and we're, we are all instrument, so 
we need to be able to shoot live rounds downrange and we need to be ready to engage in the enemy at any time, considering that we could go anywhere in the uh, Indo-Pacom area at uh, any given time to engage with the enemy in real life. And you can't really simulate that real fill with simulation rounds or blank rounds. I think the progression is good. I think that it instills confidence at the lower level, at the squad level, before we continue to progress up to platoon company uh, and inevitably battalion with JPMRC and being able to work through some um, differences and build better continuity for future operations. Have you seen a big improvement in a lot of the uh, units going through today, the squads? Yes, yeah, so going through today, um, we have a lot of newer uh, paratroopers and throughout the progression they have continued to gain their continuity and get better and work together as a team better and be able to do things like communicate with their rifles versus actually yelling bounds and, and things of that nature. Instead, they're now progressing to a level that they can move without actually communicating by voice. <laughs> Shooting live rounds builds that squad up and then it gives them the confidence to further on and then continue to gain their confidence to work at a higher level.